is it seriously going to start storming right as I begin to record? Absolutely incredible. Incredible! Hey there kids, it's me, Safari Sam, and today we got a lot of dope, you know, shit to show you, I guess, I don't know. You're going to learn a lot about bugs, specifically one bug, yeah. Today, you are going to learn about the five-horned beetle. Big old beetle boy, you know, we, you know, covered an extinct animal and some, like, prehistoric plants, fossils, uh, and, you know, I just wanted to do something, you know, that you can find in the modern day, you know what I mean? So, without further ado, here we have the five-horned beetle. Jesus Christ, is that really the reflection of the camera? Oh, shit, this could have been lit, planned out a lot better. Now, as long as they can't tell I'm naked, it should be fine. So, yeah, I already know that a bunch of people are going to be like, Oh, Sam, that's not a live beetle. We wanted to see a live beetle. Blah, blah, blah. Complaining in the comments. You, know, you complain that, you know, B3 hasn't produced a Safari Sam in forever, and then you're going to complain when you get a new Safari Sam? Christ. Look. Alright, if I wanted a real one of these beetles all the way from Asia, it would have been incredibly expensive. Right? Incredibly expensive. We don't have the budget for that. If you want us to interact with live animals in nature, we're still going to do it. We're still going to do it in other episodes. But if you want us to do it more often and with a larger variety of animals, then I do, in fact, highly recommend that you uh, support us on Patreon. The B3 Productions Patreon can be found in the link tree in the description, just so you know. But yeah, we got a dead beetle. Also, the US and Australian governments will not allow me around live animals unsupervised anymore. So, you know, here we are, dead beetle. So, it's obviously called the five-horned beetle because of the five horns. Uh, but for some reason on this, they call it the five-horn beetle. I guess because they just didn't have any bigger labels and they needed room for its scientific name as well. Which I can definitely pronounce because I am 100% an educated and professional zoologist. I've not been pretending all these years and I can definitely say it. And um, I'm told I have to. So I, you know, not believe it's pronounced, but know it's pronounced. Eupatorus Grossilicornis. See, that wasn't so hard. You all doubted me. Uh, I didn't doubt myself, though. I knew I'd get it right. All right, so our uh, rhinoceros beetle here, specifically the five-horned variety, which I've said several times. I shouldn't have to keep repeating it, but I know you're all fucking thick, so figure I need to. Uh, it's got those four large horns right there. You can see the four main ones, and those are sticking out of the uh, prothorax there. And then you've got one extra large curved uh, cephalic horn. I also have an extra long and curved cephalic horn for you, the ladies. So if any ladies are watching this, uh, definitely hit me up. Just kidding. I know there's no ladies watching this. They're scared by bugs and also uh, I'm repulsive. My dick is small. My dick is bad and small. So rhinoceros beetles specifically are part of the scarab beetle family. They're actually Dynastinae, which are a subfamily of scarab beetles, right? And our specific beetle here has often been found in Laos, uh, Vietnam, Myanmar, India, China, and Thailand. You know, I can also be found in Thailand from time to time, eh? Wink, wink. Not gonna tell you what I do there, but, uh, it's sex stuff. So, the main coloring on the beetle is this, like, shiny black, this shiny black color, uh, which actually, you know, looks very nice, very spooky. You can clearly see there. Uh, got a real good specimen here, all things considered, you know. But uh, the Eltra, Elytra, whatever, I don't fucking care, or four wings here, 
yeah so those are usually yellow or gold uh, we got some dingy brown ones uh, I guess the specimens you know not as good as I just said it was you know thank you for you speak I suppose but like uh, all insects here it actually does have a thick exoskeleton uh, and then a pair of like thick wings that cover the membrane wings to keep them safe and all you know so obviously this critter can fly but it can't fly very well like it's a fucking terrible terrible flyer like it does a shit job mate absolute shite like it's just too fat it's literally too fat to fly well like as a species and that honestly i just find that fucking hilarious so even though these fuckers are bad at flying uh they usually start you know showing up and flying around uh, in September, which is when the males get horny. Uh, God damn it. That's not a joke. They literally get horny. Well, I mean, they they are literally horny. See, they, they, they're literally horny. But also, they want to fuck hard. Like, they really just want to gape out some of that bug puss. Now, these critters right here do indeed have a larval form. And when it's a larva, you know, they usually eat rotten wood. Uh, I really wish someone would come along willing to eat my rotten wood, you know? <laughs> I need a blowjob, but I can't get one because my dick is bad. Adults like this one, however, have a bit more of a diverse diet. Uh, you know, they'll often eat nectar, sap, and fruit. You know, three things that I myself have never consumed. So, this beetle was first described or scientifically recorded by British entomologist Gilbert John Arrow in 1908, right? They won't let me say discovered because, you know, our freaking PR and legal and everyone, they're all like, oh, well, it's really Asian people that would have discovered them because, you know, that's, that's where Asian people are from, so they would have seen the Beatles before this Brit. And, you know, normally I'd be like, geez, who cares? But today I'm willing to say it because honestly just fuck the British, right? They're all shite. Fuck you, you stupid fucking UK looking ass. Now we're going to catch this Beatle on the flip side real quick. Uh, get a nice underbelly view. Well, the view's not that nice. You can see there's two points of glue that hold it in place. So, I mean, like, it's it's a pretty shite view. But uh, I wanted you to really get a look at those leggies. You see the little hooked feet that the little critter has? Little hooked feet? Yeah, that's so it can cling on bark and sap up the sap. You know? Really just cling on to whatever it lands on so they can like climb walls and all that shit. Just some really nice tough little leggies, you know? And its horns themselves are actually more used for uh, fucking. Like, they aren't used to hunt prey because they're herbivorous, right? So they're not, you know, eating other bugs, but they do eat other bugs out, right? These things fuck hard as I mentioned earlier. So the horns are likely for, uh, you know, attracting a mate or just beating the shit out of other potential suitors. Just fucking clobbering them outside the club. Just laying into them real hard. Like a little head button action. And then I'd like to get my head butted. Is that, does that track, does that anal joke track get my head butted? Does that, does that make sense? Eh, whatever. You can cut it. I don't care. And basically, that's our video for today. That's everything that you probably need or don't need to know about the Five Horns Beetle. Honestly, if you don't live in Asia, it's probably pretty fucking irrelevant. Just straight up. But, uh, I guess that would make it more interesting if you don't live in Asia and don't see them. I mean, look at this. Look at this fucker. It's fucking gigantic that is a big boy that's a very big boy you know 
So that's it uh, for today. Remember, if you want to support the show so that we can get more specimens here in this format and so that we can continue our older format where I go out into nature, find animals, or go places where animals are, um, please do that. I actually have a couple of those planned, but, you know, we, we just got to get to it, you know, got to have the time and money, and uh, I also have to know things about animals, which is uh, the hardest part, honestly. And so... Yeah, if you want to support us on Patreon, that would really help the show. You know, B3's trying to invest a lot into Safari Sam. Uh, the show, not me, obviously. I don't get paid shit, but, you know, neither does B3, so it's fine. But yeah, we're just trying to make more. We want to do more. I want to do more. Please, I am homeless. I'm absolutely homeless. 100%. So, that is it. Thank you all very much. And I'm going to see each and every one of you next time. I look like an absolute fool out there, Jerry. No, 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 no. You're going to listen to me talk, all right? In fact, put me on speaker so everyone can hear, all right? I look like an absolute fool in the new footage, okay? An absolute fucking fool. I fucking promised them a five-horned beetle, and then I come out with this fucking dead specimen sprawled out like my ex-wife on my neighbor's bed? No. No. Fuck no. I need fucking live animals. No, Jerry, I don't want to do another fossil next time. I want live... Fuck you, Jerry.